You're watching 8 bit days a week, and I'm gonna be playing. Oops, wrong core. I'm gonna be playing a uh, old arcade title once again. And this is section Z, if you've caught the file I loaded there. And uh, once again, I do believe this had like a. NES release. So, yeah, my latest trend is that I'm playing games that are that were released on the NES or Famicom. So, in essence, the NES had a lot of uh, arcade ports. It's all like an arcade system just with different graphics and sound of course due to hardware limitations whoa, whoa. So when you say arcade ports the first thing the first console that comes into mind of course Neo Geo being an actual hard arcade hardware the next would be the Mega Drive or Genesis, actually, being known for arcade ports and sports titles. And the NES doesn't really come into mind when you say arcade ports, but it is, it has a lot. You know, from the ones that started it all Donkey Kong, Pac Man, Gal Galaga. Some titles you've probably seen on the NES before you saw the arcade, so you might be surprised that hey, that's actually an arcade port. And not much needs to be said here, it's running fine. Older games tend to be. Uh, well, I lasted more than I should there. Maybe you've seen this in the, some of the Capcom collections. I, um, I'm not sure actually if um, this is included. The thing about those collections is that you always go straight for the Street Fighters, the Ghosts and Goblins in the 1940 series. Or whatever beat em up there is, like a final fight. You tend to forget there's actually a lot of Capcom games. Some are largely f forgotten. Once again, this is Section Z. The arcade running on a PlayStation Classic. And you're watching 8 Bit Days a Week. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.